Next Week in Wolfboro is underwritten by the Downtown Grill Cafe. The Downtown Grill Cafe is located at 33 Main Street in beautiful Wolfboro, New Hampshire, with a fantastic view of Lake Winnipesaukee and Cape Park. Hours of operations are daily from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. For more information about this underwriter, check out the website, www.downtowngrill.cafe. Welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. I'm your host, Mark. And I'm Ava. We are coming to you from the Wolfboro Community Television Studios, where we bring your community to view. We say thank you to our friends at the Downtown Grill Cafe for underwriting Next Week in Wolfboro. It is through the support of underwriters and donors like you that programs like this are possible on Wolfboro Community Television. If you would like to underwrite a program for Wolfboro Community Television, please contact our producers at 569-0219. We also want you to let your friends and family from out of town know they can watch this program on YouTube. Once you are logged in, just search for Next Week in Wolfboro and you will find our channel. Here are some other things we would like to share with you, starting with Friday, September 29th. The Kingswood Knights boys soccer team have an away game versus South Egan at 4.15. Go Knights! The Kingswood Knights volleyball team have an away game versus John Stark at 6.30 p.m. Go Knights! The Kingswood Knights field hockey team have, an away, have a home game versus Sahigan at 7 p.m. Go Knights! The Kingswood Knights football team have an away game versus Fall Mountain at 7 p.m. Go Knights! Saturday, September 30th. Moose Mountain's regional green, greenways are hosting a Hawk Watch hike at Birch Ridge Community Forest from 9 a.m. to 12 12 p.m. <coughs> For more information, visit www.mmrgnh.org. Castle in the Clouds in Moultonboro will be holding their Castle Car Show from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Kingswood Knights cross-country team have a meet at Kennet at 2 p.m. Go Knights! Monday, October 2nd, the Kingswood Knights volleyball team have an away game versus Kennet X. At 6 p.m., go Knights. The Wolfboro Zoning Board of Adjustment will be meeting in the Wolfboro Town Hall upstairs in the Great Hall at 7 p.m. If this, w if you would like to watch this meeting from home, Wolfboro Community Television will be broadcasting the Zoning Board meeting on Live Channel 25 on the WCTV YouTube channel. The Governor Wentworth Regional School District School Board will be meeting at Effingham Elementary School at 7 p.m. Tuesday, October 3rd. The Wolfboro Public Library provides toddler time story hour at 10.30 a.m. Advanced sign-up is recommended. The Kingswood Knights field hockey team have a home game versus Pembroke at 5.30 p.m. Go Knights! The Wolfboro Planning Board will be meeting in the Wolfboro Town Hall upstairs in the Great Hall at 7 p.m. If you would like to watch this meeting from home, Wolfboro Community Television will be broadcasting the Planning Board meeting live on Channel 25 and on the WCTV YouTube channel Wednesday, October 4th. The Wolfboro Public Library have a class creating a junk journal from 10.30 a.m. to noon. Registration is required. The Kingswood Knights girls soccer team have a home game versus Sauhegan at 5.30 p.m. Go Knights! The Wolfboro Public Library have a class on climate disruption impact on our health at 6 p.m. The Wolfboro Board of Selectmen will be meeting in the Wolfboro Town Hall upstairs in the Great Hall at 6.30 p.m. If you would like to watch this meeting from home, Wolfboro Community Television will be broadcasting the Board of Selectmen meeting live on Channel 25 and on the WCTV YouTube channel Thursday, October 5th. The Wolfboro Public Library provides preschool story hour at 10.30 a.m. Advanced sign-up is recommended. Saturday, October 7th. The Wolfboro American Legion Post 18 and the Tufton Road General Store are hosting a music and dance night at the Wolfboro Town Hall. Doors open at 6 p.m. and tickets are available at the door. 
Tuesday, October 10th, the Wolfboro Public Library provides toddler time story hour at 10.30 a.m. Advanced sign-up is recommended. Thursday, October 12th, the Wolfboro Public Library provides preschool story hour at 10.30 a.m. Advanced sign-up is recommended. The First Congregational Church of Wakefield are holding a presentation on New England quilts and the stories they tell at 1 p.m. Friday, October 13th. Wolfboro Friends of Music present Heifetz Institute on tour at the First Congregational Church of Wolfboro at 7 p.m. <coughs> okay, let's send it over to the Parks and Recreation Department. Parks and Re Recreation Director Christine Collins is ready with an update on all things Parks and Rec. We're sending it over to you, Christine Collins. Thanks, Mark and Ava. Christine Collins here with Wolfboro Parks and Recreation and just want to share what we have going on. So the first thing I want to say is thank you so much to the Kingswood Youth Center and all of our vendors that came out to our fall festival this past Saturday, which was amazing. Um, and we're so grateful. You know, we've been growing our summer kickoff and our fall festival every year. We try to keep it the same uh, weekend date. So it's usually the third Saturday in June for the summer kickoff and the third Saturday in... Um, September for the fall festival and it just keeps growing and getting better and better. We were super excited with the turnout. I think it was a good collaboration with the Kingswood Youth Center and I think everyone who attended had a great time. We had live music and crafts and games. Um, so if you have not been to either of those, you are missing out. So we hope to see you next year. So just keep, um, keep us on loop for that on Facebook so you can see when we have those events. All right, so now what we have going on. So we have our brochure is actually going to be printed and it will be available starting October 1st. I believe it's being delivered September 29th. We'll get it out to the public library, the town hall, the chamber, um, and we'll have some at Parks and Rec, the community center. So just make sure you get those. That will have all your information from October 1st all the way through... Uh, March 31st so there is stuff in there mind you it has to go to print so we have other programming events that might not be in there so you always want to check on our website and Facebook for things that just pop up that we decide to add uh, we have registration is open for turkey trot which is Saturday November 18th it is a great family race it's a 5k we have three divisions we have a 1k for the um, it's a fun run for children up to age 12 we have the 5K walk and we have the 5K run. So um, any of those are great. All the money collected that we raise goes to the Lions Club for the gift of sight and hearing. So they collaborate with us and they help us put on that race and then they donate to the gift of sight and hearing. So the first 125 people get shirts. So please register so you can make sure you get yourself a shirt and they are nice long sleeve shirts. Uh, we are ready for Halloween. So we are doing a home decorating contest for the month of October, I believe. So all you got to do is decorate your house and send us some pictures and then we'll vote for it. Um, it's October 1st through October 20th. Um, winners will be announced October 20. No, just kidding. So you'll decorate your houses, send your pictures in October 1st to October 20th, and then from the 23rd to the 30th, we'll be voting and we'll announce the winners on October 31st. So if you're already doing that, really easy way to win a prize, just get over there and put it online. Um, we have been expanding our senior program, so we do have a lot of things. We're doing crocheting and crafting, mahjong. We have some senior presentations, senior lunches. So make sure you are signed up and registered for all those. It is on the website or you can always call the office. We are typically at the community center from 10 to 12 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if social media or getting online is not your thing, you can always pop in and we have someone there who can register you for that. So we can help you. Uh, the rink is now open for public skate and um, stick practice. So you definitely want to go to the Wolfboro Parks and Rec website. Um, when you go there, you'll see the register now button, which is in the, the top of the page. You're going to click on that. That's going to bring you to our registration page. And I'm telling you that because that's one where you can see the programs, but two, it also has capability of seeing the calendar. 
So if you, once you get to that page, it's up at the top, you'll see calendar, register for programs and all that jazz. If you press calendar, it will show you everything in the calendar, but when you get to that calendar, you can actually scale it down to specific facilities. So if you wanna see what's happening at Pop Whalen, click on that, and it will show you all the skate and stick practice times. Please be advised, you wanna check those regularly. Um, I know sometimes you might wanna have your schedule for the week, and we try to stick true to that. However, if mechanical issues, hap mechanical issues happen, or there's a uh, snow cancellation or weather cancellation, we sometimes have to adjust schedules. So you just wanna make sure you check that regularly, but we do try to keep it in there. Um, also, we are selling, we don't have season passes for Pop Whalen, but we do sell punch cards. So that is an option, or you can pay daily. We have a Halloween skate on Friday, October 27th from six to eight. So um, it's regular skating fees apply, but we jazz it up a bit. We'll have lights, decorations, snacks. So you definitely wanna come. It's a great family event and we do a costume uh, contest. We recently offered um, through Colette Travel a trip to Portugal that actually five or six people from the Wolfboro area are attending. The next uh, trip we're offering is Shades of Ireland. So it's an Ireland trip. So you definitely want to check that out. Uh, there's more information on the website. Usually the, the company will come out, have a discussion, tell you about what it entails, and then you get to pick if you're interested in the trip and what you want to do on it. Uh, we're also looking to plan more senior trips. And make sure you register for our fall programs because um, they could fill up. If they do fill up, you do want to get on that wait list. Sometimes we have an opportunity to open up other sessions and if we do we will if not it just helps us plan for the future so we know if we need to offer more we do have a safe sitter class coming up in november so you do want to check that out as well and we are in the process of starting the plan for our winter carnival and all the all that stuff too so we're busy over here at parks and rec um i just so you know that we are located at the pop wheel and ice arena when you first come in the doors we're on the right hand side so feel free to stop in and say hi to us. Well, that's all I have for now, and we hope to see you soon. Back to you. Thank you, Christine Collins. Joyce Davis is at the Wolfboro Public Library with an update. We're sending it over to you, Joyce Davis. Oh, thanks, Mark and Ava. Folks, did you know that we have over 20 unique backpacks you can check out filled with toys, activities, and books for children from toddler to school age? Each pack has a theme like music, bugs, counting, or cooking. Here I have a healthy ABC backpack that includes your daily vegetables, three books, and a magnetic alphabet. Just come to the front desk and we can check one out for you. On Wednesday, October 4th at 10.30, artist and crafter Cindy Durkee will lead a group in creating a junk journal. In this workshop, you'll create a beautiful handmade book without the stress of traditional book binding. Handmade book construction is easy and fun. Junk journaling is a way to use papers, stickers, lace, ribbons, photos, even junk mail to create a one-of-a-kind book. There will be finished books for you to explore and get ideas of where this craft can take you. There's no charge for the class, but registration in advance on our website is required. In the evening on October 4th at 6 p.m., local resident Phil Jutris will present his program, Climate Disruption and the Impacts on Our Health. Phil will cover topics including our carbon footprint, the effects of air pollution, drought, flood, transportation and travel, and talk about possible solutions. We are really looking forward to the return of poet Jeffrey Zygmunt on Wednesday evening, October 18th at 6 p.m. Jeff will present a dramatic recital of Edgar Allan Poe's most famous work, The Raven. This will be guaranteed to put you in a hol holiday Halloween mood. Books are in for our next Second Tuesday book discussion, which will take place on Tuesday, October 10th at 1 p.m. We'll be discussing Shirley Jackson's novel, The Haunting of Hill House, in one of American literature's most famous short story, The Lottery. 
Our mystery group will be discussing The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave on Wednesday, October 18th at 11 a.m. Copies of the book are now available at the front desk. Do you enjoy playing cribbage? Would you like to learn how? A new weekly drop-in cribbage group is forming at the library. It will begin Monday, October 16th and run every Monday from 1 to 3 p.m. The group is open to all. And on a related note, we want to thank the Friends of the Library for the gift of five new card tables. These tables will help us accommodate the game-playing groups, including Mahjong and Bridge, that already meet regularly here. The library also has plans to use them when we start up our Scrabble night soon. Stay tuned for details. Remember that every Tuesday, our IT guy Mike is here to help you with your tech-related problems. He's available from 10 to 3 on Tuesdays. He's busy, so it's best to call ahead for an appointment. And for children's programming, fall story time is in full swing. Join us Tuesdays at 10.30 a.m. for toddler time or Thursdays at 10.30 a.m. for preschool story hour. Join us each week for stories, music, and more. Please register in advance on our website. Our fall session runs until November 2nd. That's it. Back to you, Mark and Ava. Thank you, Joyce Davis. Father Cole, Deacon Charlie, and Deacon Chris are at St. Catherine Drexel Catholic Church with a report. We're sending it over to you, Father Cole and crew. Well, hi, Ava. Hi, Mark. Father Bob Cole here with Deacon Chris. Conley and Deacon Charlie Ferraro. So we're delighted to be on. Once again, thank you for all you do for us at St. Catherine Drexel and our community uh, through, uh, through the local TV. We're very, very grateful. So let me tell you now, here it is Friday, uh, the 29th of September, and today is the Feast of the Archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, the archangels. There's many, many different angels, and each of us has a guardian angel. You know, can you see the guardian angels behind them? They're, they're, they're here. Every everybody has a guardian angel sent by God just to watch over us and protect us and guide us and and be God's messenger and in a certain way God's presence too. So uh, there's a whole invisible world that we can't see. But it's more real than the material. The spiritual lasts forever. So keep your eye on what is not seen, okay? What is seen is passing away. Now, today, Friday, uh, beginning today, we're going to be having 42 homeschool children meeting here at St. Catherine Drexel in the church and in the parish hall and twice a month they're going to meet they're all homeschoolers and they're going to spend about maybe 20 minutes in adoration you know adults we can do an hour but for the little kids maybe 15 or 20 minutes of silence in front of the blessed sacrament the eucharist and then they'll go downstairs and of course they'll have their lunch and they'll have classes we have eight classrooms available four on each side of the hall, and so they'll do their different lessons, but we're also going to teach them about Jesus, and we're going to teach them about the faith, and we're going to pray with them, uh, and in fact, they're going to be teaching us, I think. All the other kids. Uh, the kids are going to be teaching us, so I think that's big news. Over 40 homeschool kids meeting uh, on two different Fridays every other week, uh, beginning today, here at St. Catherine Drexel. So, it's quite, uh, it's quite exciting, and Mary Beth Wadlinger, a wonderful parishioner, is heading it up uh, with other, uh, other parents uh, of, these, of these children. So it's great to have people around here younger than us. Don't you think that's a good idea? Yeah, yeah. 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 Keeps us young. So. Keeps us young. Yeah. So here it is, the Feast of the Angels, and the kids are here. Well, Chris, what would you like to talk about? I just wanted to mention, we had the parking lot uh, resealed last week, so it looks good. It's been about 15 years. Yes, yeah. yeah, since 1950, no, 2005. 2005, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's good. 
Come on up. We, we welcome you. Yeah, it's all lined, too. It's all lined. Yeah, it's all lined, so. and we're hoping to get a, a picture of it from way up in the sky. Uh, with a drone? With a drone. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Looking down, uh, now that the, the grass is green and the parking lot is resealed. Uh, that's great. That's great. Charlie. Well, we've got all kinds of things to talk about. I want to start with volunteers. You know, a consistent theme in our gospel is how can we bring Christ to others? And one of the most special ways we can do that is volunteering. Uh, there's always all kinds of needs for help around the parish uh, or in community situations. Uh, so if you're thinking about volunteering, the simplest thing you can do is call our office and tell them you want to volunteer and ask them where we need help and they'd be happy to let you know. Uh, you will feel such a sense of reward for volunteering uh, and sometimes we don't really think about it and it's because we're so busy with our families and, and such. But even getting your children involved in volunteering is a beautiful way for them to see how important it is to give of yourself to others. The other thing I want to talk about is we're having uh, Jim Foley, it would have been his 50th birthday this year, and so the Foley's are celebrating, and typically they run a race. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I'm not running races anymore, but we have something different that's actually quite beautiful. You can do a walk around our, our parking lot here, and if you sign up volunteers, I mean, uh, people to sponsor you, at a dollar, and you get 10 people, and you do 10 laps, you've raised $100. Very simple. And we have, we actually have these here for you at the parish. You can get one, and you sign up, and you, you have them sign on the back who the donors are, and you can raise money to help support the Foley Foundation. Uh, you know, for those of us who don't run anymore, this is a great way to support them. And we know the wonderful work that uh, the Foley's do for uh, supporting this and bringing home from other countries people who are held in captivity. Uh, and they've been doing such a terrific job. Um, it wasn't there, Father, didn't she just recently meet with somebody from uh, Saudi Arabia who wanted to come over and meet with her? I think the... the uh, uh, uh ambassador to Syria. The, it was the ambassador to Syria. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So she's had an impact across the world on this topic. Uh, and so we want to help celebrate that. And if we can help raise some funds for them, uh, it'll help her to be even more productive. It's a uh, dollar a lap? A dollar a lap? Now, now <clears throat> you could maybe talk somebody into two dollars a lap, and you don't have to walk as much. but. <laughs> It's all in how you negotiate now, and people are pretty generous here, I think. So if you talk to them and tell them what you're doing, uh, most people would would love to be able to. So can they pick one of these forms up at the church here? That's my understanding is that they're going to have these forms out there, correct? And so that they can fill them out, sign them up, and walk. And and you know what, Father, I learned this a long time ago. The healthiest thing we do, Nancy and I, when we go, we go for a walk. And we started that a few years ago. And she sort of forced me, because I'm a lazy guy. I was sitting in my easy chair, and she said, come on, we got to go for a walk. And I never realized how it's not rigorous, but it's the healthiest thing you can do, is go for a walk. So you're not only raising money, but you're working on your good health. And we'll do it together, whoever's here. It's, it's Saturday morning, October 14th, yep. from, 9, from to 9 to 11, so you, we can walk the parking lot, the newly paved parking lot, yeah. uh, and striped, uh, uh, October, Saturday, October 14th, from 9 to 11, uh, we can do it. So I think that would be great. You know what I like best about the new parking lot, Father? What's that? There's no way I can mess up parking my car now. Those <laughs> white lines, you can't miss the white lines now. They're beautiful. Well, that's good. That's good. All right, well listen, uh, we're so uh, glad, Ava and Mark, uh, we're so happy that you're, you're uh, broadcasting this and, and running the show here this week at 
St. Catherine Drexel is grateful to you. So God bless and come and visit. Thank you, Father Cole, Deacon Charlie, and Deacon Chris. And thank you for tuning in to our weekly program. Remember, there's always something to do in and around Wolfboro. If you would like to add an event to our program, please contact Wolfboro Community Television Station at 569-0219. Or send an email to WCTV25 at gmail.com. We hope to see you out and about. And we look forward to seeing you next week. With clear eyes and full hearts, I am Mark. And I am Ava for Wolfboro Community Television. Bringing your community to view!